I want to ask you, are you tired of living in fear? I want to say this to you. God says, do not fear. Say it with me. Do not fear. How many of you say that God said that in the Bible? Anybody say that out there? Okay. So if you do fear, what is that? Talk to me. It's a three-lettered word. Starts with an S, lives, ends with an N, and it's got a big old I right in the middle of it. Fear is sin unless it's the fear, the reverence of God. You say, I don't believe that. Okay, let's go back, do our math again. God says, do not fear. So if God tells you to do something and you disobey, what is that? Sin. Sin. Well, I've never thought of it that way. I know you haven't. A lot of times the reason you fear is because your parents feared and your friends fear and all your siblings fear, and that's just what we do. That's just natural. Well, I don't want to be natural. I want to be forgiven so that I can be supernatural in the power of God. I don't want to fear. I'm not going to fear because it's the opposite of faith. The last verse in Romans 14 says, anything that is not of faith is sin. So if you're living in constant fear all the time, I want to tell you something. You're living in sin. You're living in sin. You say, I just, I can't believe that. That's the way it is. So what's the remedy? God's manifest presence in your life. Knowing that God is with you. Are you sick? God is with you. Are you discouraged? God is with you. Have you lost your job? You haven't lost your God. You lost your job? God is with you. Are you lonely? God is with you right now. Are you going through a divorce? God is with you. Have you lost a loved one to death? God is with you. I just talked this morning. I was late coming into the nine o'clock service. I prayed with a sweet wife and mother whose husband, 50 something years old, died this week unexpectedly, left her with two teenage girls and I was praying with her and you know what? The only hope I could give her was the hope I'm giving you. It is a fiery trial you're going through. It is something I've never had to go through but I wanna tell you, even in the midst of this, God is with you. Even in the midst of it, God is with you. Don't fear, he says, I am with you. The Lord Jesus Christ is with us right now. I love Psalm 23, I pray it every day. Psalm 23 verse four says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, why? For you, Lord, are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah went on to say, God said, through Isaiah in Isaiah 43 verse 2 when you pass through the waters not if but when you pass through the waters when you go through the tough times I'll be with you and through the rivers they will not overflow you when you walk through the fire it's going to be just like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego you will not be scorched nor will the flame burn you God doesn't promise us not to have problems we're going to have problems but God says I will help you through the problems and he'll use your problems to burn off of you all the things that spiritually bind you. God's a good God.